In this video, you're going to learn how to migrate from Evernote to Realm as efficiently as possible so you don't have to waste a ton of time migrating everything over at once, no matter how many notes you have. When I discovered Realm, I quickly fell in love with the product, but I had a problem. I had over 2,500 notes saved in my Evernote, and the idea of having to migrate all of those over was terrifying. Maybe you're in a similar situation. You're curious about Realm and you've played around with it a little bit, but you have so many notes in Evernote that the idea of having to move them over is just completely blocking you from adopting the tool. Well, don't worry. I'm going to show you how you can migrate from Evernote to Realm super quickly and super efficiently so that you have all of your most important data in Realm and you always know how to find anything that's still in Evernote. And if you want to go deeper on learning Rome, make sure you check out Effortless Output in Rome, where over 3,000 students have learned how to significantly level up their creative output using this new all-in-one tool for knowledge work. All right, let's dig into the migration. Before we get into the process, I want to go over the efficient migration philosophy that we're going to use for actually starting to move our notes over. You don't want to try to migrate everything at once. That's going to be a massive waste of time because you might not need all of those notes. There's probably a lot of stuff in your Evernote that just isn't that useful to you anymore. Instead, we're going to do an efficient migration where you migrate enough to get started and to start to get value from the tool, but not so much that you've created a massive barrier to entry to getting started. But we're also going to create all of the little cues that we need to make sure that whenever we do need anything that has been migrated yet, we know exactly where to find it. The goal of this migration is to quickly migrate as much value as possible into your Roam database while minimizing the work that's going to be necessary to get started using it. So instead of thinking of migrating everything, I want you to think about picking one really high residence notebook that has a lot of value to you and that you come back to really often and just start by migrating that. For this video, I'm going to use my philosophy notebook. It only has 22 notes in it, but I value pretty much everything in it, and it's going to be a really great notebook for me to migrate. Now, like I said, there's about 22 notes in it, and so we need to start migrating those into Realm. As we migrate them, we're going to follow these three steps. One, create a new note. Two, paste the contents from Evernote. And then three, add in the relevant metadata for that note. Let me show you how I'm doing it for a couple of them. Now this tower article I already have in Rome, so I can skip over that. But let's go to this next one, Rick and Morty and the meaning of life. I'm gonna select all of this, copy it, and then I'll go into my Rome database. I'm gonna make a new page that I'll call Rick and Morty and the meaning of life, hit enter. And then I'm going to fill in my article metadata. Now, if you don't know how to do this, this is something I cover in Effortless Output, but you can also go to the public URL in the show notes to get a copy of my metadata. But I use a text expander snippet for this, so I type XRMA, and that's going to be the article metadata. And then I'll go to the bottom and I'll paste in the contents from Evernote. First, I'm going to move this URL up to here. I could go here and get the author, which in this case is Daniel Jeffries. So I'll copy that, go back, author. Unbold it. I don't remember who recommended it by, so I'll delete it. And the last thing I wanna add are some other tags. So tags, articles, obviously this is in the philosophy notebook. So I wanna add the philosophy tag. Maybe I'll add media. I could add Rick and Morty. Uh, I could say like life advice. I think I have a meaning of life tweet as well, or tag as well. Of course, I can add that, delete the medley. And then the last thing you could do is if you haven't done any progressive summarization, or if you haven't done any highlighting, bolding, things like that, you could go through and do that now, uh, but you don't have to. I'm just gonna tag a few other things that I think might be relevant to other notes in my database. So I'll just look through here. Uh, this is a reference to the Bhagavad Gita, so I'm going to tag that. All right, but again, we don't want to make this too high effort off the bat, so I'm just going to leave it uh, like this for now. Now we have one article done, we can go back. And the last thing I like to do so that I know what I've already migrated into my database is I'll actually move notes out of the folder that they were in in Evernote to a new folder called Roamed. Now, this is because I pretty much know I'm not coming back to Evernote ever, <laughs> so I have no problem putting it in uh, one big notebook for everything that's been migrated. So what I'll do is I'll just go up here, philosophy, next up, 
we have this article on uh, love and happiness. So I will go ahead and you can see there's like a bunch of these extra lines here. And you know, I don't want all of those lines. So hopefully they're gonna get deleted. I don't need all these extra links too. So let's just see what happens. Uh, love and happiness. Love and happiness. I'm using command U to bring up the search bar really quickly. So new page, love and happiness, XRMA. Paste that in. And then, you know, I've got all these extra lines, which are kind of annoying. Uh, now, I could just go through and delete them one by one, but I'm going to show you another cool trick, which is I'm going to open up Sublime Text, which is a text editor, and I'm going to paste the contents in there first. I'm going to highlight this text, copy it, do Command F for search, paste it, do Find All, and then hit Delete, and then delete a couple more times to get rid of some of the line breaks. Now, I should be able to copy this, go back, and just paste it in like that, all deleted at once. It's a nice hack, not as necessary when you've only got five or six lines to delete, but if you have a ton of links to delete, that can end up saving you a ton of time. So let's see, what else do I need here? Well, I actually need one of those links, but I'm gonna find the original. So we'll go here, paste in that bit.ly link. All right, it's from the same as that or new keep rather, go back to Rome, paste in the URL, author, new keep, and I think I also tag, same as that, yeah. Recommended by, I'm not sure, tags, articles, philosophy, of course, love, happiness, and then we can see what else uh, there is in here that might be worth tagging. Okay, not actually a ton else standing out, so that's fine, we'll do that. Once that's done, we can go back. I can hide my sublime text in case I need that later. And we can add this to the realmed notebook. Now we're gonna have to do that for the rest of these articles. And you might go through and you might look at some of them and say, you know, maybe I don't need this one, right? You, you might look at it and you might say, do I want this article? And then, okay, yeah, no, I actually do want it. But you can always you know, filter as you go. You don't have to migrate everything over. And honestly, it's better if you don't just so that you're not adding information that isn't gonna be useful to you in the future. But I'm gonna quickly speed through and uh, add all of these to my database. And then I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. Now we can see what we've made. By migrating all of those notes over and starting to tag them with everything they're related to in your database, we've started to create this knowledge graph in Rome from all of the notes we had before. So as you can see, I'm on the philosophy page and you can see a bunch of those notes that we were looking at before. They're all now here. They have the philosophy tag, which means I can easily find them. I can also start to look at how some of these pages relate to each other. So obviously these are all related to philosophy but I could go into one of these things that I had pulled in before, like how to be a precious snowflake, and see all the other things it's related to, like narcissism, millennials, philosophy. I could check on the millennials tag, right? And there's, uh, you can kind of start to explore your database like this. I could also start to filter by anything that I pulled in that fits multiple categories I'm interested in. So these all have the philosophy tag, obviously, but I could also see what also has the happiness tag. So philosophy and happiness. And if I wanted to write an article or something about, you know, how to be happier, I could pull on ideas from these articles about philosophy and happiness. So now you're starting to see how just migrating the notes in and tagging them gets you a lot more utility out of them because you can find them in multiple places. They're not locked into one, you know, list, database, whatever. You can explore, organize them, and you can start turning them into head pages of master information, uh, which is something I cover in the Effortless Output course. But basically pulling out ideas into this head page of philosophy to make like a master guide to say philosophy of happiness or things like that. But what about all of the notes that we didn't migrate? Well, what I'm gonna actually recommend is, again, don't migrate everything right now. What we're gonna do instead is for every collection of pages that you haven't migrated yet, we're gonna go and we're going to leave reminders to ourselves to migrate them over in the future. So for example, I have a lot of notes uh, on photography in my old note-taking system, and I don't wanna migrate those over right now because I'm not actively working on doing any photography. So instead, I'm gonna to go to the photography page and if I don't already have it, I'll just make it. And now on here, I'm gonna make a task with command enter to say migrate old notes on photography. 
Now what this does is it tells me that if I'm looking for notes on photography in the future, I haven't migrated them yet. So I need to go back into wherever they are, whether it's Evernote, Notion, whatnot, and move them into my Roam database. This way, I'm making sure that uh, I don't lose those notes, that I know where to find them in the future, but I'm not wasting time migrating information that I don't need right now, or that isn't super high value to me right now. I might never migrate these notes, but uh, if I do want to in the future, now I have this reminder that I haven't brought everything over into Rome. So this is the best way to make sure that you migrate over really important information now, but also are reminded to migrate over everything else in the future. So you can go ahead and do this for any notes you have in your old tool that you want to make sure you bring over in the future if you ever need them. I hope that helps you migrate your notes from your old tool into Realm. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you liked this video and hit subscribe because I'll be doing a bunch more videos on getting the most out of Realm in the future. Also, if you haven't checked them out yet, I have a couple other videos that I should be linking here somewhere that are about uh, how to write an article in Realm and how to use Realm for journaling and morning pages. And those will be really valuable to you as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.